Hi guys. Today I wanted to show you a very quick and easy way of making a wine spritzer. A spritzer, a wine spritzer is just a sweet little drink that is fast and it's great for entertaining purposes. You can use um, expensive wine, of course that would make it taste better, but this is a great way to use inexpensive wine, make it stretch a long way, and it doesn't take a lot of ingredients. So for a wine spritzer you're going to have a wine glass. However, I use only mason jars in my house and so I use these little adorable mason jars for just about everything and I have yet to have anyone complain about it, but that's what the, why I'm using this. Probably you want to use a wine glass, but you know, here's mine. Okay, so these ingredients are simple. Um, you're going to have a white wine of some sort. I'm actually using Moscato. This is what I have to use up, and I'm so I'm going to be using Moscato. You can use any kind of wine you like, white or red, just depending on what you use, depends on what you're going to put into the drink for your frozen part. You're going to use a, a, a wine of some sort, and then you're going to use either sparkling water, which is carbonated water, or club soda. That's going to give you the fizz. And then traditionally you would use ice cubes, and you would just fill your glass with ice cubes to get that really, really, really cold feel that you want. I like to use frozen fruit, and um, that gives it the flavor that I want to have. So I'm using frozen berries today. Again, th keep in mind what you're using for a wine, and that will tell you what to use for the frozen part. Um, peaches are great for white wines. R of course, red berries are usually great for red wines. You could freeze limes and lemons and things like that. But today I just got a package of frozen mixed berries. And so I'm gonna treat these as if they were the ice cubes that would traditionally go into a wine spritzer. Take your glass, fill it with berries. Hopefully I can get them in without making a mess. Last one. One down. All right, so I have mine filled with berries. Simple enough to do. The first thing you're going to do is take your wine, white wine, mine's Moscato, fill it half full, about like that. Again, this is not a science. Do it however you like. Then you're going to take your club soda, your sparkling wine. Make sure all your wine and your club soda are very, very cold. And then you're going to fill this the rest of the way. See all that little sparkle? And there you're done. Of course, if you're gonna, if this is for guest purposes, you might want to put a cute little uh, garnish on the top of it. Let this sit just a little bit so all of those berries get in there. So you might want to give it a couple minutes. So you can make these in advance with the berries because the berries are gonna add the flavor. Again, make sure everything's very very cold. Use berries. That's the trick for the yeast wine spritzers. And then, yeah, you can't really beat that. It doesn't get better than that. All right, so there you go. A quick little entertaining tip. Sweet and easy wine spritz.